Hello everybody, my name is Avarice, and we're going to do a quick preview of a game I just downloaded. It is Game Developer Tycoon, a game where you actually start your own game company and to build it from scratch and deal with, you know, trying to release games, learning about what the market flow is and designing them. Uh, I did play it for a little bit earlier. It was really fun just to get the basic tutorial out of the way because I can't do a whole lot of talking because I lost my voice and I'm barely getting it back. But we are going to start. It was really fun, so let's, I want to keep going. So we need to start a company name. We need to make something new and exciting, so we are going to be Fallen Moon Gaming. Hey, I, I'm just trying to get this thing going, alright? I like, I like the name, though, so I am me. I am a male, if you can't tell. Uh, that's a little bit... That's more accurately my hairstyle, and, uh, that's a little more accurate on my actual, uh, um, appearance, so, you can set the game, like, this is, the game actually ends at a time, but you can, I heard you can keep playing, so we are going to keep going after that, so, um, first things first, uh, we're going to make this, what, full screen? Ah, yeah, much better, much better. All right, we got to do everything though, but full screen it is. Um, refill this in. Oh, up, nope, up, nope, up. Nope. There we go. Uh, right, right. Uh, we'll take the forty-two years. We may, I probably won't record all forty-two years. We're just gonna do a quick one, so we'll get started. So, uh, since you played a game before, you can choose to use all the previous hints of the game. Would you like to import all previous hints into this game? I think the hints are what I learned when I was developing games. So, yeah, that actually would help speed up. So, we're in our new, we're in our garage. You can tell that. It looks like we got a DeLorean under, underneath the um, tarp down here. But, whatever, it's cool. We got a Pong poster in the background. We develop a new game. We can only make small games at first. So, pick a topic. You have to research the topics. You only start off with... Oh, man, that's a random grab bag, too. I don't even have anything really good. Uh, medieval history, pirates, and uh, virtual pet. Uh, let's do medieval. Uh, the genres... These don't really change. Uh, medieval RPG. You can't go wrong with a medieval RPG. Um... Black Death. Pick a platform. Now, this starts you off in the 80s. We got the Commodore 60... The G64, sorry. The Commodore 64 analog. And the PC. And you know what? PCs will be around forever. Commodores are gone. So we're going to make it for the PC. So it's going to cost 10k to develop. We have a total of 70k to be up in the right-hand corner here. So we're going to make it. You know, we'll do 2D graphics. Like I said, this is... Working back, this would be the, like, 70s, 80s. So, what we'll keep going there. Now, duh. It's an RPG. Story is important. Gameplay is important. Engine, not so much. This is what the game tells you. So, we're going with that. <clears throat> Developing. And if you look, at design and tech fill in. Those are actually uh, things that can help you get uh, more fans. You, some people like design technology more. You want to get a good balance between the two. There's a research up in the corner here you, that you have to use, get research points to actually uh, unlock new topics, make learn how to work with new new hardware, better graphics, that kind of stuff. So you have to do a lot of research. So we got graphics, 2D graphics version 1 and basic sound. Stereo has not been invented yet. Sound, according to them, sounds not all that important in an RPG. Once again, I personally would disagree, but it's a game taking everything in its brass tacks. So, we're making the game. It took us a year. We, we've had this for a year already. Year one, month 23. Oh, and when you're done, you got to fix bugs. So, finish. <clears throat> Three months to make a game. Finish. And now we wait. And since it's a developer game, we actually level up um, how good we are at making dialogue, engines, level design, that kind of stuff. 
So, and depending on the type of genre and the type of game you make, you want to focus on other areas, which is really interesting because I was trying forever to try to make certain like weird combos, like maybe a dating sim game or a virtual or like a Pokemon style game or something like that. I couldn't, I couldn't make a good one to save my life. I don't know why I couldn't, but you had to keep making them and failing them because, <coughs> sorry, because like right here, the game comes out, you get reviewed. She has potential star games and whatever. Could have been better. Well, I'm one guy in a garage. What do you want? Nice experience. Thank you, Game Hero. And all games. They like it. So now we got sales coming in the corner. Follow the Moon Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Black Death. The game received favorable reviews, six and sevens. That's pretty good. And they shoot the game fans quickly. So. When you're done, you can I can do research, or you can generate a game report, which actually lets you figure out what, if you want you to do a good combo or not. So we'll make one for this, and then sales in the corner. We sold. Wow, we sold thirty. We sold three thousand units in one week. That is really good. Or is that one? So we have fifteen fans now for making that game. You know, for any developer working on the garage, that is a that is a lot. So you got here, game report. Artificial intelligence is not important in this kind of game. All right, so now we got some research. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I can unlock. I need fifty research points to make a custom engine. So we're just gonna make a new topic. We're gonna make a new topic: martial arts. All the game sells. Um. Doing pretty well. 10,000 10, units is not bad for an indie developer. <laughs> our first game our first game has made a sales record. Well, duh. So, alright. We research a new topic. So now we got to make a new game. And since we did martial arts, we'll do that one. A martial arts action game. You know, let's make an action game for the Commodore 64. That just sounds so wrong saying it out loud. We're going to call it... Uh, um, I mean, I had, I, I had a lot of clever titles in my first one, but now, of course, now that I'm recording, I'm drawing a blank, so we're going to call it... Uh, Fist of Woe. If I can type. All right. Next. Using 2K graphics. Oh man, I can't imagine a text-based martial arts action game. Good lord, that'd be bo that'd be boring. Engine super important. Story not so much. Gameplay in the middle. It's an action game. Artificial intelligence super important. Dialogues not so much. Level design important. And you gotta tweak those. You gotta tweak those values so it's actually keeps sliding around. Graphics, super important. World design. Once again, these are all like things like um makes sense in the realm of like a sim, but in reality, I don't agree. But I know I'm criticizing that part. But this is still a really fun game. Like it's just like I could build one more. I could do it better. I I want to get that that I want to get that legendary ten out of ten. Oh yeah, and eventually your games when your games stop selling, they get taken off the market. So it sold thirteen thousand units, it created ninety two thousand dollars in sales. That's really good, and we got fifty three fans for it. So that's really good too. Bugs. I always like to release bug free games. So like I would always wait till that zero. It always costs me money, but I want to release a quality product. Damn it. Game. Uh, okay, we'll just speed that part up. And you level even you level up, so you get you have stats and I'll. Go over that in a minute when I get the training. So here are the reviews for the game. <clears throat> oh, I was teasing me with an eight and nines, and then just went to a seven, six shows potential again. Once again, one dude working on a garage. Six. Oh, come on. Seven. All right. Six and seven is not bad. Another, another decent game in the middle.
That's pretty good. All right. Do a research report real quick. Crank it out. Find out what we can do better the next time we make one. Uh, gameplay is quite a bit important. Well, yeah, of course. All right. Uh, research or make a new game. Roman. Yeah, I did experiment with romance games. Like I said, I was trying to make a date sim. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's research superheroes. I did make a custom game engine, so I'm going to have to just like make a couple games and get my research out. Oh, Mark Mar suggests that the com the Govador, Govador 64 is still the outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over their ho home computers. This hit is might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Oh, how history is fun. Uh, I think I got time for two more games. So I'm really just planning on this one to be like an intro to the game. I really want people to play this, though. It is super fun. All right, research is complete. So now we're going to make a new game. A superhero adventure game. I guess it's the Commodore 64 is the platform to do it on. Actually, you know what? PC has a 5 plus for adventures. So we'll do that one. Um... <clears throat> uh... Let's see. Uh, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, it's also late where I'm recording this too, so I'm running on. I'm running on empty as far as witty names. Next time I might step it up, but next two D graphics. Like, these whole like minus and plus things, you have no idea how much trial and error it took to even get that stuff. So. Apparently gameplay, not important. Engine, not super important. Story, apparently is majorly important. Well, it's not, could be not major important, but that's a projected double minus. That's a projected minus. Stands the reason we should focus on quests and story. But it is an adventure game, so it does make sense. Oh, man, this is one of those ones where it's like, comes down to it. We'll do level design. AI... And max out dialogues. Oh, see, this is the part where it gets stressful. It's like, oh man, I'm making the right choice. I know how I would make an adventure game. Uh, Fist of Woes off the market. 13 and a half thousand and 96,000 in sales. Really good. This is one of those things where you know how you would want to make the game, but you got to translate that into the constraints of these sliders. So it's really, like, nerve-wracking almost, because it's like, oh, am I making it right? I want to do well. Uh, this may be a fallen, fallen Moon Gaming's first bomb. Let's see. Oh, rumors. A Japanese company, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its own home co gaming console. They are known for the successful Dingy King game. They doubt the console will take off, but we're going to see what happens. All right. I think it might do well. We'll see. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Stats up. Oh, man. We almost got engines leveled up. Swords and Quest is almost leveled up, too. And so are we. Sweet. All right. Sorry, get, get that gaming report done. Uh, reviews are out. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's bad. If you don't even see a 10, that's bad. Oh. <clears throat> Six. Oh, falls a bit short. Come on, baby. Oh, Thanks for the input. Oh man, this is bad. I'll probably get some money, but it's probably it's probably gonna sell like sell bad. Oh, a contract work that we just finished the mighty boss and think we have potential. I'm like contracting. You can take con if you need money because you've released a really bad game or you just need cash to do something else. You can take contract jobs. It takes time away for you, but it still works. Oh, we lost fans. We made money, but we lost fans. 
engine seems to be not important this type of game. Once again, good to know for the future. So let's research a new topic because... <clears throat> we need more. I need like fantasy and sci-fi. Those are like bread and butter for action adventure games. Develop a new game. It's a romance RPG for the PC. Date night. Oh man, I can only imagine what this would be like on 2D PC graphics in the 80s. Be like Leisure Suit Larry 1. I like the Leisure I like the Leisure Suit Larry the Leisure Leisure Suit Larry series. Oh man, it is late. I like really the last ones that came out. Those are those are kind of bad, but the rest of them like the old Al Low one, I I think I got his name wrong, but those were fun. So now the Nintendo TES hint hint wink wink is out. So So we're developing our first test game after this. We sold five, only five thousand units and forty grand. Ah, that was a that was a bomb. World design up, graphics lowered, sound down. There we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. Focus strictly on the sound. Get the bugs worked out. Two, three. Engines up. Gameplay up. Quests up. I think everything should be hitting level two by this point. I love that ding. During that game report, it's out. Oh, that's bad again. Not bad, not good. You seem better. How many other romance RPGs existed in this time period? That's eh, an averaging around. That averages out to be a, a five. That's pretty bad. Ugh. This game's stressful because of that. It's like, oh man, am I doing... You I, You are at least the best game you can. You want to get money. You want to make fans. Just like in real life. So gameplay is quite important. Okay, well, now we have 50. We're going to research and make our own custom game engine because that will really set us apart from the pack. Hopefully the sales of this game will keep us afloat until then. Been for two years already. Jeez, see, time flies in this game. That's why it's really hard. <clears throat> we create our own custom game engine. Oh, we can get mono sound and game tutorials. Uh, if we could afford either one of them, we could. So, ooh, aliens. Ah, God, okay, I need to make, I need this last research, and I'll make one more game. Then I'm gonna stop this episode here because. No, oh, because I have to. Okay. The test has been released. Excellent. So now it means we have to develop a new game to get some money and some research points so we can build our own custom engine. So we're going to make an alien action game for the test. Now the thing is... <coughs> sorry, like I said, losing my voice. Like I said... um, you have to pay a licensing fee to use these things. So like this one, the test, I have to pay them 80 grand for the privilege of making a test game. That's like, that's most of our money. So this could really put us in the red if we don't make a hit. So let's give it a shot. It's a Nintendo game. I'm sorry. It's a test. It's a, Tessendo game, you gotta make a you gotta have a uh, 
2, uh, 2D graphics, no text base. Quest and story can go down, gameplay can go up. Uh, quit scratching your head, man. Do this. We're on the clock here. We only got five grand. Oh, man. We are going to be in the. Oh, Lord. We're going to be in the. We're going to be in debt here in a second. AI is important. Dialogue's not so much. Level design. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Graphics up, sound up, world design down. Like I said, a lot of trial and error to get those little boxes on the bottom. Lots of trial and error to get that. Oh, crap, we're in the red. <clears throat> so we can be up to 50 grand in debt and keep going. Otherwise, we'll be bankrupt. So if this thing doesn't, or this thing doesn't hit, we are going to be dead in the water. Before it even starts, it may, this may be a whole episode. Who knows? Game's finished. New records on everything. Ah, oh, release the game. You, you can also trash games before, before you do them too, if you think they're going to suck. But how do you really know until they're released? I don't know why you would have trash. At least put it out there and try to get something. Oh, I saw lots of tens. That's gonna be good. Oh, eight. I have my fingers crossed. Eight again. Come on, baby. Oh, three eights. Was that nine? Oh. Oh, it is a hit, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, eleventh. Oh man, we are out of the black. We are in the black now. Oh lord. Thank goodness. I need to make one more because I want to make both these things in my custom game into tutorials and mono sound. So we'll make what we'll, you know. What, I, that that's the last one for this one. I don't. I don't. I can't crank out another one. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna save it here. Save it here. Thank you. And I'm going to set this one. Well, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm sorry my voice is going out a bit. I had a really bad cold. I'm trying to get back into recording and, you know, keep my voice, obviously. Um, this is Game Dev Tycoon. The game gets a lot more intricate. If anybody wants, I'll make more episodes of this one. But for right now, I'll keep it at this. Just so everybody exposed to it. It is on Steam right now. I believe it's 10 bucks as of the time of this recording. I highly recommend you pick it up. It is a really fun, and you'll be sitting here trying to make the game and figure out the combos and everything like that. So, once again, I recommend it. <clears throat> and I will see everybody next time. Later.